Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to cover another reason to use tables in Excel. And I saw this question posted online and people were having a hard time giving an answer. So I thought I'll just make a video of it. So I have a data range right now that has states and has the number of orders. I'm going to go to insert tab and make it a table. My table has headers. Hit OK. Table Tools Design appears up in the ribbon. That is a contextual menu. So if you click outside of it over here in column C, it'll disappear. Click back in your table, it shows up again. I'm going to change the style just so it's easier to see. Here's my issue with tables. If you go and check the total row, everything is perfect. That actually is correct. Those numbers total up to 400. I'm going to turn it off. If you like the total row, here's a little shortcut for you. Go to cell, let's say you're on the home tab and you're working, you say, oh, I want to know the total for that table. Just go to cell B8, Alt equal, and it automatically turns on table tools design. It checked the total row in the background for you. Undo. If I'm working here, and I do the average, it'll automatically turn on the total row for the average. Undo one more time. I'm going to go the official way though. You're working here. You click inside the table, table tools design, total row. There's the sum. Perfect. I have no issue with that. Here's the problem though. Over in C1, I want to know what are the percentages. 200 divided by 400, I should get 50%. I'm going to go ahead and format this as a percentage. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. My formula is going to be equals the 200 divided by the total. Because I have a table, another reason I love tables, I do not have to press the F4 key for absolute cell reference. Also, when I press enter, and this is covered in my online class, that is a calculated column. It automatically auto-filled every one of those numbers down. So that's a nice little feature. Here's where I have an issue. If you're sharing this with someone, and they're down in cell B8, and they say, you know what? I don't care about the total. I really want the average. Well, it still says total. But there's the average, in, and that's correct, but now all these numbers are incorrect. So if you were to print this or give it out, it's wrong. Same thing applies if you use the max function. So here's my suggestion. If you're going to start doing percentages in a table, I'm going to turn off the total row, and there again is another issue. If the total row is showing, your percentages show, but since you turned it off, the reference cell, the 400, is gone. So now you're sitting here with pound reference. So here's how I would handle this. I would do equals the 200. Also, when you have tables, it internally names them. Divided by, I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to type it out. The sum, what do you want to sum up? orders. Watch what happens when I press enter. Perfect. I don't need that total row to figure these out. And let's test it. Always test your stuff. Let's put in Vermont. Let's make the number 125. Everything is still working. Michigan, 75. We're in business. If I wanted to add states with the total row, I'd have to go and turn the total row off. So this is always going to be correct right here. I'm going to undo. I didn't technically have to. I'm going to do this one more time because I know you like the mouse. I'm in cell C2, equal symbol. Grab the mouse, click the 200, divided by, grab the mouse. Click auto sum. Nope, can't do that one. The sum. Watch this. When I move my mouse around in my table, that is the selection mouse. But when I put it right above that field, which is called orders, do you see that? There it is for selection. 
click once, it puts everything in there. Close the print, enter. So there's the mouse method if you're a mouse person. But either way, this beats turning total row on. Anyway, I hope that's a great lesson. Feel free to sign up for my free online Excel class. It lasts about 10 minutes and there's exercises and videos and you follow through. I appreciate it. Have a good weekend.